Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're having an absolutely beautiful day. So the other day, my mum's little dog, Molly, passed away. So I wanted to do something for her so she could remember her. And so I decided that a lithophane 3D printing was an amazing idea. So, so today I'm going to be actually showing you guys how to make lithophane 3D prints. I think lith lithophanes are just so awesome. The quality, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys would have seen something go from like nothing to just creating an image on the 3D printer. That's a lithophane, it's where the light shines through and the depth of the filament will determine how much light gets to shine through therefore making a basically like a black and white image. And it's super cool, super fun to do. Uh, the quality is actually really, really good. Not only quality, you can actually print quite a fair few. Let me show you a couple. I need to darken the lights. That's better. Okay, so here's one I kind of did myself. It didn't turn out that great. The red was a little bit dark, but you can, you can get an idea, you can still print this with any colour. I do prefer white better. As you can see, the results are a lot nicer. You can print many things like, like a tiger, a subscribe button, which you should do, a like button, which you should also totally do, Jake Paul, or why I made this video, you can print one of your puppy dog. And it kind of made me think, like this is something that I want to give my mum, and I thought, well, why not show everyone else how they can do it as well? If I would figure I would show you guys how to make it. It's super, super easy. It's just a few steps. I'll show you the settings for the Ender 3 Pro at least. I'm sure you can probably fetch a few more different settings on the internet, um, but for me, I'll show you what works best for me in the Ender 3 Pro. The Ender 3 is an amazing printer. If you actually want one, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get one for either the UK, the USA, or even Australia, where I'm from. But yeah, they make perfect gifts, and I thought, why not? So, let's jump on over to the computer. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you want to get an image. I had this tiger face at the start of the video that you would have seen. Uh, it's a bit of a low resolution image, but if you can get a high resolution image, that will actually give you better results from what I've seen. And um, for my mom, this is her dog Molly. I have given it a little bit of a grey outer edge. This is going to actually give it a little bit of, um, it's going to give it a little bit of an edge to kind of stand on. After you've selected an image, come straight into your web browser, go to this website, I'll leave a link in the description, and this is what you'll be greeted with just here. So select images, and then go ahead and choose your image. I name mine Molly1. Okay, once you've imported your image, I like to hit outer curve. This generally gives the best results, and always hit refresh because if you don't hit refresh, it will stay flat. And there you go, you can kind of get an idea this is your printing bed area, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, once you've done that, you want to come over to settings and go to model settings. Um, as for the settings, just choose the size that you want. So my printing bed width is 220, so I'm going to stick it at 200. This is going to give me the maximum size without pushing the limits too far. Uh, this is for the Ender 3 Pro though, so if you guys have a bigger printer, you can definitely do a bigger size. Then for image settings, it will be set to negative image. You want to put it to positive image. That is very important. Uh, other than that, that is it. Go back to model, hit refresh to make sure it saves all of your settings. And then all you're going to have to do is hit download. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Molly 3D Model and hit save. So now you can open it with your software. I like to use Simplify 3D. You can use Cura or whatever you want. Now that it's loaded in, you can decide the position. Uh, whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter. Now this is kind of where we get into the settings. Uh, there's a couple of really important ones, but overall I've left them pretty much standard. Now first things first, always make sure that your infill percentage is at 100%. That's very important. Uh, so the nozzle diameter at 0.4 millimeters and the extrusion multiplier at 0.95 millimeters, uh, extrusion width at 0.45 millimeters. Um, and then the extraction distance at 7 millimeters. I found this to be really good on the Ender. And the retract retraction speed at 25 uh, millimeters. Uh, as for the layer, uh, layer height, I've just got it at the 2000. Top solid layers 3, bottom solid layers 3, and outer perimeter shells 2. Uh, it won't really matter if you change any of this. Uh, it's going to be based off your 3D printer. So, however, I think these are just the standard settings. Okay, now we're into the additions. What you want to do is you want to come over to the use skirt slash brim. So as for skirt layers, I have it at two. It doesn't really matter that much uh, whether you choose one or two. Uh, I just like to have two. Uh, skirt offset, you want that set to zero. That's going to actually uh, connect it 
to the object itself, therefore allowing for better bed adhesion. Because I actually had one of my prints come off on me, and so this is a pretty important step. As you can see, I wasted a lot. I was trying to print a big six hour one, and uh, yeah, she comes straight off at about, luckily at about 20% mark, so I didn't waste too much product. And as for skirt outlines, I set that to 10. Again, this is all just bed adhesion. Uh, other than that, you don't need anything in here. Infill, again, 100% support, not needed. Temperature for the extruder, I use 200. This is for PLA. Uh, and bed, I use 60. Cooling, first layer, zero, and then 100 onwards. As for the G-code, there's nothing. As for scripts, there's nothing. As for speed, 36, and I'm pretty sure this is just the default anyways. Then for other, nothing, and advanced is nothing. And so that's really it for the printing settings. Then you can hit prepare to print, and you will see your final product just here. And as you can see up top, it is going to be about six hours and four minutes worth of a print. And for material cost, it'll be about $3.35. Now you just want to come down and save it to however way you transfer it to your printer. Me personally, I use an SD card. So I just inserted my SD card, we hit save, and it's come up straight away. And we're going to save that there. So just give that a minute to save, it's a pretty big file. And then it says down here, successfully exported, so that we are good to go. Plug it into our 3D printer, and now we print. Absolutely incredible. Okay guys, I really hope that you like this video. I've had uh, an amazing amount of fun. There's definitely more uh, detail that you can go into to get a bit better of a picture. However, this is a simple yet fun thing to do. And basically, you just do this with any printer on PLA and it should turn out perfectly. I must say this video took a long time to make, so if you could, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a bunch more 3D printing stuff, RC stuff, tech stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting used to this YouTube platform, but uh, yeah, it's going pretty well so far. So next video, we'll be probably playing around with some RC cars and some nylon filament. So that should be a really good video. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.